What's up guys, Bodie here, bodydavison.com. In today's video, we're gonna dive into how to create Redbubble stickers and how to make money fast from Redbubble stickers. It's an easy way to get started with Redbubble, so let's go. The first thing you're gonna do is come across to unsplash.com where you can get free usable images. Other websites like this are Pexels and there's quite a few others. But what we're gonna do is put in a we're looking for puppy today, but you can search whatever niche it is that you're looking for. And then we're just gonna find an image. And then we're just going to create a sticker from one of these images. So let's say we go with this one here. So you can see down in the bottom left, free to use under the Unsplash license. Let's click on that. Unsplash photos are made to be used freely. Our license reflects that. All photos can be downloaded and used for free. Commercial and non-commercial purposes, no permission needed, so you don't have to credit the owner or anything like that. Photos cannot be sold without significant modifications, so that's what I'm gonna show you now. We're gonna to go to another website called remove.bg. It's for removing backgrounds. You'll find this very handy for not only this tutorial, but many other things that you'll do online in the future. So we go upload image. So first I need to download it, so download the actual image. Now I have it downloaded. Select the image, go to open. This is one I've done before. And you can see that that has removed the background. Then we just go download. And you can see our image here on a sticker, so that's how it looks. You can change the pricing by clicking on this gear icon here. At the moment, the standard markup is 20%. I would leave it at 20% until you start getting sales and then you can start to work more profit margin into your markup from there. And so you can modify your picture in any way that you want to just by using something like Affinity Designer that I'm using here or you could use GIMP or any other sort of editing software. You could add an outer shadow like this. You can modify it however you want. You can also copy and paste the image and so you can have multiple and then these can be in a sticker pack and they're getting six for one or nine or 12, however many you can fit on there, instead of just the one original picture. So you can do multiple stickers in a sticker pack and still sell it for the same price. And it doesn't really make it that much more effort for you. You just copy and paste in and make sure you've got a good gap in there so that the Redbubble sticker machine will actually cut them separately. Other than that, it's an easy way to make a sticker pack. And you could do this with heaps of different animals. You could do cute animals of all types. And as you can see here, guys, this is exactly what I'm talking about. These people have just done exactly that, added a heap of smaller images to one sticker upload or like this. And so the customer kind of feels like they're getting a better deal. Instead of buying one cat here, you can get three cats and have three different cool stickers in your sticker pack. So just keep in mind you can do this for any sort of event around the year. So we've got Easter, we could make Easter themed ones for when that's happening, Halloween, another one would be Christmas. As you can see here, there's heaps of different Christmas sort of ones that you can do. And the list just goes on and on with all these different images you can use and create Redbubble stickers and sell them. One more tip before I go for you guys, if you are downloading from remove.bg, you can actually, if you're on a Mac that is, come to markup and use the magic wand here. And then as you click and drag, before the image goes red, everything else would delete the extra stuff in the background. So you can really clean up that uh, background. And you would just zoom in and make sure that this is all clean. When you're saving from Affinity Designer or whatever it is you're using, you can also save to the proper size that you'll need for stickers and on Redbubble. I hope this tutorial on Redbubble stickers helped you out. If it did, or if you have any questions at all, please comment down below and I'll be sure to answer your questions and I can make other future videos to cover the topic again. Thanks very much and please give the video a like for me. 
As I said, comment down below and make sure you hit subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.